My name is Mrs. Lipton, and my first graders at, Ma at Maplewood Elementary are excited to have Mr. Croslin with us today. We're going to learn what do plants need, and here's Mr. Croslin. Hey, thanks for that great introduction. I'm here at first grade with you guys, and we're talking about what plants need. But I tell you, animals need things also. Next week, we're gonna talk about what animals need. Like, for example, I need sleep, I need water, I need food. In fact, all living things need something. What do plants need? That's our lesson today. What do plants need? Now, before we do what plants need, Maybe we should talk about, and I know I can look around this room. You guys have been studying plants already, haven't you? Yes. Yeah. In fact, here's what I love about first grade. Look on the cover of your science book. What's on the cover of that science book? A plant. A plant, a flower. So you guys have a head start on what plants need. Now, so let's take a look at something right here. And draw this. If I draw it, you draw it. A plant starts as a what? Seed. Huh. Excellent. I didn't even have to write it, but I'm gonna draw a seed right here. It starts as a seed. You know that, right? And then, after some time, it turns into a little thing like this. Huh. And it has one little, what's those things growing off the top of it right there? A, a what? A leaf. And we call this a sprout. <laughs> and now, what happens next? Does anybody think they know what happens next? Yes? What do you think happens next? Yes? It turns to a flower. Almost. It starts to grow. When it grows, that means it gets, what does grow mean? Taller. Taller. Bigger. Or bigger. 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 So it starts to grow. I'm going to write the word grow. And then, oh, here's what happens. What do you think? What are these parts here called? I bet you know. Roots. What? Roots. 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 And then, what's this part coming up called? Stem. 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 These are experts already. And these things here, what are they called? Leaves. Leaves. And it gets a bunch of them, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. But you know what? No flower yet. No flower yet. That's going to take one more step. So let me draw it again. What are these again? I forget. What, what, what are you called? Roots. Roots. And then this is the stem. Stem. And leaf. leaf. And now what should I add? A, a flower. And guess where the seeds come from? I love this part. In the flower? Inside the flower. I'll put it right here. I'm going to put a dot right there. Okay, let's take a look at your drawings. Mira, tell me about your drawing. This is the seed. It turns out to start sprouting. Then it starts to grow, and then it turns into a flower. I couldn't have said that better myself. Excellent job. Anybody else want to share? When the seeds get in, the seed starts to grow up, and then it turns into a flower, and then, and then the seeds on the top, and the, the flower. And it starts over again. Yeah. Excellent. My drawing's about how the plant grows, and first it starts to a seed, then it sprouts into a sprout, then it starts to turn into a flower, then the flower grows. Excellent. Nice work. Nice work on your drawings. And you've written, what do plants need? So this is a plant. Is it, this kind of looks like a, uh, what do you, uh, what shape does this look like to you? Circle. Circle. And since this is living, we call it a, uh, what would be a good name for this? If it's a, it's living and it's a circle, what would be a good name for this? Life circle. Like a life, a life circle. Now someone else said another word. A life cycle. A what? Okay, so I don't care which one you write, life cycle, because the cycle goes around and around, or a life circle. Science, we just try to use everyday words to figure this out. Oh, tell me, see, goes here, goes here, goes here, then what happens? It goes here, and here, and then, and then what happens? 
Flower. And then it goes again, what happens? Flower. And again, what happens? Flower. And again, what happens? Flower. In fact, over here, the seeds fall on the ground and the circle starts again. And then the seeds fall on the ground and the circle starts again. That is an amazing thing about a life cycle. So, what do plants need to have a really good life cycle? Now, you've been studying this in your book, and we'll look in our book in just a moment. Anybody have any ideas? What does a plant need for a life cycle? I'm thinking about that. You know what? Here's a, put, make everybody make a fist like this. I think there's like five. How many fingers do you have on your hand? Five. So let's see if we can come up with five things, one for each finger and a thumb, that plants need. All right? So what's your first one? Okay, so uh, what should I, if I, what should I, what shape should I make for water? Uh, probably should do blue, right? And what shape? Like a puddle. Like a puddle? I like that. What else? Raindrop. A circle. A circle? A raindrop? How about this? Water. Go ahead and write that. There's one. Water. There's my thumb. Good job. What else do plants need? What else do plants need? Anybody? Yes. Sunlight. Light, sunlight. So what should I make for sun? A yellow sun. A yellow sun. Okay, here we go. And I'm going to write sun, and I'm going to write light. Um, but you know, the sun does something else. It, have you ever been in a car when the sunlight, and you? how do you make you feel? How does it make you feel? Hot. Hot. Hot and warm. So it has sunlight, but it also has... Energy. Energy. Let's call that. You want to say warm or heat? Which one do you want to use? Warm heat. or heat. Warm. heat? Heat. I don't care. Either one. Warm is W A R M. And how do you spell heat? Anybody? What does it start with? H H E A T. You probably okay. So there's. Show me your hands. Here's what's this one? Water. We need something else. I like how you raise your hand. You're my favorite student right now. What else? Think. Air. 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 And so I'm going to use a black marker. What can we use to represent air? Yeah. What's up? Uh, air is up in the sky. And uh, yes. Oxygen. A cloud. You know what? I'm going to do this. C. Help me. L. O, o D U D, D. E. Cloud. Huh. Let's do it with our hands. What's this one? The water. 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 Sun. Sun. Cloud. Oh, uh, Spider-Man, what's next? Nutrients. <laughs> How did you learn that word, nutrients? Um, That's a fancy word. Do you hear what he said? What did he say? Nutrients. Say it one more time. Nutrients. Nutrients. Okay. Nutrients. All right. And so... I'm going to use a circle because nutrients are some kind. Here's a, you want, you want the science word? It's in your book. We're going to, in you, nutrients. You want to know another word for it? Food. Well, who said that? Food. You guys have all the answers. Food. <laughs> Ms. Lipton, you prepared these kids well. <laughs> Here's my nutrients. Well, we're almost there. Help me out. What is this? Water, Water sunlight, sunlight clouds, clouds, nutrients. Nutrients. Now, we have to find one place for the plants to live. Think. Where, what else does a plant need? You know, you're my favorite student right now because you raised your hand. What? Soil. Soil? Is that what she said? Soil? Yeah. Okay, I think you're right. Now I'm going to put soil. Here's how I'm going to do it. You know what? Tell me why you think I'm doing this. Ready? Why, why do you think I did that? Because you showed that the soil. Where is soil? It's the ground. It's the ground. Okay. You have five seconds to write this last one, and then I want to see how you are making your drawings. Ready? Go. I learned Okay, I wanted to show you something. I'm going to pass it around. Check this out. These are beans. I'll show 
These are different stages of beans, bean seeds, bean seeds. And look, just like when you guys, we added heat and water, they start to sprout and, and the root goes down. And that is so cool. Take a look at that as it comes around. And I'll leave this in your room uh, till uh, today so you can look at it. Isn't that amazing? This is the kind of the life cycle of a bean seed. And that little seed will turn into a huge plant. Is that cool? Or is that cool? Yeah. yeah. That's cool. <laughs> um, I bought this. They they uh, they grew them. Then they put them in this special material. All right. So I brought some plants here. Okay. And some of these plants. Well, what does this one say? No water. No water. I want you to look what happens when. Um, there is no water. All right, so this plant, I bought this plant, believe it or not, and I forgot to do something to it. What do you think I forgot to do? Watering. I want you to tell me, first of all, use your observation and listen, and I'm gonna let someone feel it. Listen to this, listen. Does that sound like a plant should sound? No. Well, here's one that I have been watering, and Listen to this one. Listen to this one. Who can tell me some differences? Yes. There's less crunching. This one has less crunching. And would you come here? And would you pick these both up in your hand right here? Lean over by me. There you go. Pick that up and pick. Which one feels heavier? Mm, and what do you? Th why do you think this one's heavier and this one's light? Anybody have any idea? Mm. What do you think? Yes? Because that one did and that one's not. This one's dry and this one has water in it. Thanks, thanks. So here's what I want you guys to do. This one has no water. It's, oh, oh my goodness. Um, hmm. I'm losing the leaves. This one has a lot of water. And so how can, let's look at the other ones. How can we put these in order of worst, <laughs> no water, and I'll put it there. And which one do you think this one has the best water? Okay. Yeah. All right. And so, uh, which one's next? Well, you guys look at your power observation. Which one is next? Yeah. Th this one is good or bad? This. Oh, look. This one has. That's bad. That one's kind of crunchy. So that's the second. And then what? Which one? How would you plan? How would you order them next? Which is the best one, and why? Which is the best one? We have these three. Of these three, which is the best and why? Who would like to uh, tell me why? why? Why do you think this one's the best one? The leaves, look how the leaves look. They look round, right? I think, that, I think that's a good choice. What about these two? How should we sort these two? This one is crunchy. That one's crunchy, and, and this one's not. So, all right, so we put these in order. And check it out. So we have them in order from no water to a lot of water. In fact, I might, uh, um, I'm going to put a lot of water in this one. Ready? Oh. A little bit of water in this one. Less water. Drip drop. And how much in this one? Oh, none. Which plants do you think are going to survive and which ones are not? The you, what, what are these going to do? It's going to survive. And what about this one? No. And why? It's a living thing. What does it need? It needs water. It needs water. So here's a present for you, Miss Lipton. I just like to ha let you have this. Uh, I was supposed to take care of this at my house, and my wife is very upset with me. What did I forget to do? Water it. Water it. But you know what? I started water, Miss Lipton. I'm a, maybe your kids can bring this back to life. Do oh. you think it'll make it back? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Let's find out. Because look, can you use your eyes and what do you see that's starting to grow in the stems? <gasps> Flowers, maybe. So what should I probably do with this guy? All right, so I'm going to water this with you, Miss Lipton, today. And, um, and you guys... See if you can get it to come back to life. It might take a while. But here's the thing, if I if I put too much water, guess what this does? 
there's holes in the bottom and it might drip out. We might see it drip out here in a little bit as it soaks through, because water goes through the soil and keeps going down. Oh, did you see it? What makes water go down? And you know, I know the force. What makes water go down? What? Too much water. But what makes water fall down in the ground? Anybody know? Starts with a G. It's a new word. Gravity. Gravity. Gravity makes the water go down even in the soil. All right, we'll leave that. But you know what? I'm gonna try a new experiment. Let's push these over here. Let's put those on that on that desk over there for me. All right. You guys put them over there for me. Let's take a look at something else. Okay, so I'm going to try an experiment. I started it last week. This one is called, uh, can you see the word control? control. No, okay. Control. Control. Okay. It means it's okay. Guess what this control, this is control right here. Guess what it got? Guess what the control got? What? The control got water. What else did the control get? Air. Air. Sunlight. Sun. What else? Oxygen. Nutrients. Did you say soil? And soil. This one got it all. What about? Oh, I got air right here. So this one got it all. This is our control. I gave it air. I gave it sunlight. I gave it nutrients. What's another name for nutrients? Food. Food. And um, I gave it soil and I gave it water. But then I thought, oh, what if we do this? <laughs> Check this one out right here. <coughs> what do you think, no do you air think air this air. one's missing? No air. How do you know that? Because it's not Oh, because it's not It's in a bag. <laughs> well, it's in a bag. In a bag. <laughs> this is my no air in a bag. So we're going to put that there. <coughs> okay. And then, oh, this one is... What is this one? No water. No water. And look at the leaves. They're not doing too good, are they? This is a no water. So I didn't water that one, and I can feel it light. Feel it light. Okay. So this one is everything. That's our control. This one, no air. This one, no water. What else do we need to see? No nutrients. Oh, no nutrients. Now the nutrients, check it out. This one... I put food in all of these, but we did not put food in this one. No nutrients. Which one so far do you think is going to grow the best? That one. The control, because it's getting almost all of its needs. Oh, don't be upset with me on this one, but guess what I did? Guess what I did? No soil. No soil. Check, check it out. Look. Oh, I took out. I took out the soil. Look. What are those things? Roots. And can you see that? Yeah. Oh my goodness. In fact, here is here is the soil I took out of it. Check it out. There's the soil. That was the soil. And here's even some of the uh, um, the nutrients are the little things you see on top there. So I took the soil out of this one. And when you feel it, that's something. Here's the soil. So, hmm, five things. No nutrients. No soil. And I can't... Oh, this poor guy, look. No soil. Oh, I left a little bit of soil, but it's shaking out. Huh. No water. No air. What am I missing? Control. control. I got the control, but no I'm missing. Sun. No sun. Well, we, uh, Miss Lip, do we have one somewhere? Oh, look, she's over here in the cabinet. She has one. Why is it in the cabinet, do you think? Because no sunlight. There's no, There's no sunlight, sunlight in, the, in the cabinet. And so... This has been inside a cabinet, and it has no sunlight, and the leaves are starting to turn yellow. No, it's white. And white? Yeah, it looks a lot whiter. So this is an experiment that I was trying to see what do plants need. This one is the control. It gets everything. And so what's this one missing? No air. No air. What's this one missing? No water. What's this one missing? No soil. No soil. What's this one missing? No And what's this one missing? No sunlight. Do you think that at the end of a week, some of these are going to be good and some of these are not going to be good? Any questions before we go to our seats? Yes, sir. What about the one with no soil? What about the one with no soil? 
This guy is not doing too good, I don't know. But look, you can see all of its roots. They're probably getting dry. They probably don't like to be out in the sunlight. <laughs> or just... Yeah, and they're just drying out. I don't know. Poor guy. Maybe we should put some soil in there? Yes. No, we got to do an investigation first. <laughs> but I understand where you're coming from. All right, let's take a look in our science book. Okay, if you look in your science book, it says, explore it. Who would like to read that first sentence for me on page 140? Yes, go ahead. What does it say right here? Do plants need water? Right? Is that, do plants need water? Yeah, right? Yeah, yes, Oh, look at that plant. Look at that poor plant right there. <laughs> what will happen if that plant, if you add water to that plant, what will happen? It'll survive. It'll survive? It will live. Well, we're going to find out, aren't we? We're going to take a look at ours and find out in just a minute. Okay, so let's take a look at the next page. Who can read where it says needs? I need a good loud reader. Okay, go ahead, Emma. All living things have needs. All, everybody say that again. All living things have needs. Now here comes the important part. Say it, Emma, loud, then we're going to repeat it. <laughs> a, need is something a living. Thing must continue. Thing must have to live. A need is something a living thing must have to live. Go ahead and say that again. That's true. All right. Plants are living things. Plants have needs. And there's a picture of poppies there. Since poppies are flowers, poppies are living things. Do poppies have needs? Yeah. Yes. I'll let you uh, uh, go back and work that in just a minute. Let's look at the next page. This is a strawberry field. Check out that strawberry field. And it, I want someone to read the first sentence where it says needs of plants. Who can read that first sentence? Would you read that for me right there? What does plants, it say? Plants need air. Well, everybody circle the word air. Plants need air. Who would like to read the second sentence? Yes, sir, go ahead. Plants need water. Plants need water. Guess what you're going to do? Water. How did you know? Go ahead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> circled air. Who would like to read the next one? Yes. Plants need light to make food. Plants need light to make food. What are we going to circle? Food. Light. Light. And if you want to draw an arrow to food, that's good because you need light to make food. Who can read the next sentence? Yes. Plants need space to live and grow. Plants need space to live and grow. What are we going to circle? Space. Space. Very good. I'm going to give you... 10 seconds. See that white circle right there? Yeah. Pick one need a plant needs. Write the word and draw it. You have 10 seconds. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six. When you're ready, raise your hand and share. Seven, eight, Nine, nine and a half. Write the word of what it is. Who would like to share? What did you write? Food. Food. What did you write? Sun. Sun. What did you write? Air. Air. What did you write? What did you write? Soil. Soil. What did you write? Water. What did you write? Sun. Sun, water, soil, water, grow. To grow, they and back here. Water, water. flowers. They need flowers too. Excellent job, guys. So my friend here has a green shirt on, right? And he's standing under a light. If he was a plant, all he had to do is put his arms up, and the light would hit him. And then what would you say? Oh, thanks. I needed that. Yeah, oh, thanks. He needed that. As we end our lesson, one of the things that um, the students were asked to do was to look at their books, and they became the illustrator and the author. And using text features, they uh, rewrote the 
page, the pages and um, highlighted the important information that they needed to learn. And Emma, would you read yours to us, please? Plants need a place to live. Water, sunlight. Seeds grow if you give them water. Plants also need nutrients. And why did you highlight nutrients? Because they need it to survive. Thank you. Hey, I couldn't have said it better. You guys, thanks for a great lesson. Say thanks, I needed that. <laughs>